to another video. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a swatch video of the cute little lippies in the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip value set. I recently saw this in store and I knew I had to grab it. I've purchased so many of the Sephora Favorites lip sets and I love them to death. I think they're such a good value for money. So I thought today I would do some swatches and share my thoughts on the lippies on the brand new set. So inside this adorable box, you get six awesome lippies, two of which are full size. This whole set retails for $34 Canadian and $28 US, which I think is a total bargain. Taking into account that two of these products are full sized and are around $30 already, I highly recommend picking up this adorable set. So I'm going to be doing some arm and lip swatches for you guys, so let's get started. So the first lippy that I want to talk about is actually the first full-size product in this whole set, and it is this Lancome Juicy Shaker, and it is in the shade Boomerang 313. I've seen these little juicy shakers on social media for so long, and I thought they were so adorable. The little top screws off like this, and then you have a little sponge applicator. I was actually dying of laughter when I pulled this out because the applicator is just so hilarious. It is just like a little triangular like nib thingy and all the pigment is at the bottom of it. I just think that is so cute. It kind of reminds me of a nipple, but you know, I really like the cute design of this. Um, you're supposed to shake it up before you use it. I've noticed that if I leave this for a little while, um, the lip product actually begins to separate, which is why you need to shake it. So you take it and you shake it a little bit and there's a little ball um, that you can hear inside mixing up the product a little bit. And then you can unscrew the top like a um, cocktail shaker and then apply straight onto your lips. So this shaker gives little to no pigment. I can see a tiniest tint of pink color on my lips, but I would say that this is kind of just like a clear oil on your lips. It feels really nice. I think the applicator is still hilarious. I'm just going to swatch it over here, and if you see, like, when I push down, when I'm applying it, the sponge kind of morphs shapes, and I just think it is so freaking funny. I've genuinely been using this product quite a bit, even though there is little to no pigment on it. I've been using it to hydrate my lips before I put on my makeup. I know that's kind of weird, and I should be using a lip balm, but I love the texture of this. It's really smooth, and you don't really feel sticky. I don't think I would have purchased this um, myself if I went into, like, Sephora or something, but I really like how it's full size and in this set. I think the concept of this is super cute and I like how you can shake it a little bit, but I don't think it is my favorite product in this box. The next product in the Sephora Favorites box is um, a fresh lip balm. This is the Rose or Rosé one. Um, I've actually had this in other um, Sephora Favorites sets and I love this so much. It smells amazing. I'm sure many of you have already tried this, but like all um, fresh lip products, it twists open like this. It has really gorgeous packaging, same as the regular full size, but just in mini form. You twist up the top and the product comes out like this. The one problem that I have with these is that when you're actually applying it, um, it hits the sides of, um, what is this thing called? The barrel, I guess? Um, but yeah, it hits the sides and it makes it kind of ugly looking but the product is still really nice and you get quite a bit for a mini size. So I've wiped off um, the Juicy Shaker and now I'm just going to apply this. This being a lip balm doesn't have too much color in it but I would say it has a lot more color than the Juicy Shaker. I really like this. It feels really nice on your lips and it isn't too much. I think there's a fine line with lip balms. Some are just a little bit too heavy on the lips. Some are a little bit too tacky and take a while to settle into your lips or some just really don't feel like anything. I would say that these fresh lip balms are some of my favorites and you can see it gives a little bit of color more than um, the Juicy Shaker that was um, over here. This Rose or Rosé one is the only one that I've tried from this brand but I genuinely really like it. I really like the smell and I know they do have a lot of like holiday sets and stuff like that um, in the Sephora to go section so if you guys cannot get your hands on this set there are always other chances to get this. So this next lip pencil is from NARS which I'm always excited about and I cannot pronounce the name of this but this is a satin lip pencil in the shade Rakujin. But this is one of NARS's mini lip crayons. I believe I have a few more of these. I'm pretty sure I have Corella. I desperately wish that these NARS lip pencils were like a little twist up thingy rather than like a sharpenable thing. I hate having to sharpen these, which is probably why I stopped using my Corella. But let's see this color. 
So this lip goes on really nicely. It's very smooth. You don't really feel any grittiness to them. I think this could be my first satin lip pencil, but I'm not too sure about it. I really like the color of it. It's very natural and wearable for every day. For my hand swatch as well, you can see it is a lot more pigmented and a lot more of a pinky color than the fresh lip balm. I really like this shade. It is very moisturizing. I know NARS has a really wide color range um, for these lip pencils, and there's one that I really liked um, that I'm still looking to get, and I think it's called Valkyrie. So I know this lip pencil is kind of old news already, but I still really like the formula. Um, I still haven't tried NARS Audacious Lipsticks, which I'm hoping to try um, soon, but I'm really happy that this is in the set because you can never really go wrong with multiple nudes in your kit. So moving on, there is a mini lipstick from Kavon D, which I'm very excited to try. Um, this is the Kavon D um, Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lovecraft, and it looks amazing in the bullet. I love how Kat Von D does a lot of these minis, like in general, in the to-go section of Sephora. Again, it does have that problem with when you're actually applying it. Um, the bullet kind of bends a little bit and hits the side of the barrel. I love the creamy texture of these Kat Von D lipsticks. I feel like this one went on really, really nicely. It is definitely a matte lip color and it has a slight tinge of purple to it, which I don't mind. I actually quite like it. I think this lipstick would look really nice um, with like a dark, um, taupey, smoky eye with a crap ton of black eyeliner. It is going to be perfect for the autumn time, which I'm so excited for. I do have to say that I really like the finish of this lipstick. It is completely matte, and it looks really nice and true to color on camera as well. Looking at it a little bit closer, you can kind of see that it has a kind of gray, kind of lavendery, purpley tone underneath it, which I really like. It's going to be great for fall time. Man, I need to try a lot more Kat Von D stuff. That is just gorgeous. I can't remember if I tried these before, but the next lippy is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Chihuahua. I love the packaging of this. I think it is so cute and adorable. I love the color of it as well, so let's see how pigmented it is. So this is Chihuahua on the lips, and I have to say it is a slightly different color than the actual packaging. I would say this is more of a browny pink tone. The applicator for this is just like a little um, doe foot applicator, so you squeeze a little bit and then you apply it. I do find that this is a little bit tricky to um, put on and get really, really precise, especially with something like a liquid lipstick. I'm not sure if I like this color on me. I'm wondering if it will set a little bit darker, but I think in this set you get a really nice um, a range of different colors. Some more nudes on this side, some pinkier ones in the middle, and then this one over here is Chihuahua that I just swatched. I do like the texture of this. It seems like it would set quite well. It seems like it would set a little bit on the drier side. I'm hoping that Too Faced does a little holiday set um, with more of these colors because I'm really hoping I'm picking up more of a dusty, rosier kind of color. Um, I was hoping that this would be quite similar to it, but as you can see, it's a little bit more brown. I still do really like it, just not on me. And the last product in this set is the second full-size product, which is from Smashbox. This is their Always On liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Stepping Out. I said it is full size and it's quite sturdy. I really like the packaging of this. Um, it has a little doe foot applicator like that and it is quite pointy. The applicator is quite pointy so I'm hoping for some very good precision. This looks like a very like lightly whipped product um, so let's try it out. So this is Stepping Out swatched on my lips. Um, I'm still waiting for it to dry a little bit so I'm hoping that it'll um, get a little bit darker. The texture of this was really nice going on. I expected it to be like a whipped texture, but this went on really nicely. I really like the point of the doe foot applicator. It makes you get in the really, really um, hard nooks and crannies. I have a very small cupid's bow, um, so it was really nice getting in there as well as in the corners of my mouth. I did somehow manage to overdraw my lips with this, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I can pull off this color as much. I think if I put a little lip liner or if I like contour my lips a little bit better, um, then I would like this color, but as of right now, I'm like, hmm. As you can see, the liquid lipstick from Smashbox has now set and now has gone a little bit darker than when I first applied it, and I genuinely really like this color. I like this color so much better than when I first put it on. I think this is a very good color to um, put on in the fall again. This isn't a color that I would normally go for, but I'm really happy that this set has introduced me to this color. I press my lips, I can feel a little bit of tackiness, a little bit of stickiness, but I can't really compare that to the Kat Von D one. I'm, I haven't worn the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks in a very long time. That might be a blog post comparison. 
So overall, I think you can see from my hand swatches here, you get quite a good variety of lip colors. You get some neutrals over here, some nudes. Um, then you have more of the pinky lipsticks that I love and I'm obsessed with. And then over here you have um, some of the more brownie tones over here in liquid lipstick form. I really like this set. I think it is such a good value for money. You get two full sizes which are over here and the rest are just really really amazing lip products. I don't know about you guys but it takes me quite a bit of time to finish even a sample size of a lip product. I hope this video was helpful for you. I really like doing these lip swatch videos and these comparison videos. If you guys like it please do give me a thumbs up. Again I always have a ton of stuff on my blog so be sure to check me out there as well. But I think that is it for me today, guys, and I will see you next time.